Hello viewers, welcome back to the Pixel Hub Technical Channel and this is Rajul Hassan Raja. Today we are going to create a complete movie app by, step by step by using the movie database API. Open Sketchware Pro app and create an empty project. Uh, I have already created a project, I have named it uh, TMDB, uh, which is connected to the Material Design 3. If you are new to the channel, you can check the previous video at tutorial number 129 to learn how to connect to uh, app with material design 3. Uh, in this part of the video, we will uh, fetch the uh, generous data uh, from the movie and which will be shown into the uh, tab layout. So I will drag and drop a uh, tab layout. Uh, sorry. Uh, here is a tab layout. Uh, now go to the uh, JSON and XML uh, tool app. Here we will test the uh, uh, URL. Uh, go to the download button and paste here uh, the basic URL. And now we will add uh, endpoint for the uh, generals. I uh, will write here gen slash movie uh, slash list which will be uh, which will show the uh, generals list basically uh, now we'll add the uh, an api uh, our <coughs> uh, we have written the uh, complete url uh, now we'll check uh, its response so click on ok uh, you can see the URL is working and it has fetched uh, 19 items of generals. Uh, you can check its details uh, of uh, items. Each item contains uh, an ID and name. Uh, so we will uh, parse the data accordingly. Now go to the uh, Sketchware app and uh, uh, in on create. Here we will add a component to fetch the uh, data. I will use a network request component. I will name it Jenner. I hope all of you uh, know how to use a request network block. Uh, now keep your focus on blocks uh, and my coding. I will connect it with the uh, I will use get method and paste the same URL we have uh, generated before uh, copy and paste it into URL uh, this will fetch the uh, generous data uh, go to uh, on response here we'll add some codings here we'll need to create a, a json object uh, so click on uh, add custom variable I write it uh, private here json object I'll name it object. I am using JSON object blocks uh, which are written by me. Uh, you can download the all of my blocks uh, from the link given in description. So first of all we will drag and drop try block. Uh, you need to focus on the blocks I am using. Uh, create a JSON array, the same method we have used uh, previously. Private JSON uh, 
will name it array. Uh, this is an, an important uh, point. Uh, we will fetch the generate data from the object into the uh, array. So use get key. Uh, paste the and copy the object ID uh, which we need to uh, fetch. This is generous paste into the get key Uh, the all of data uh, into the genus has been fetched and uh, shifted to the array. So we will repeat the whole data by using repeat block. Here I will add another uh, JSON object block. This JSON object contains uh, ID and name. So we need it to uh, connect into the uh, tab layout. Uh, we need to fetch a name into the tab layout. So we write here uh, name key. Our coding for the on response has been completed. Uh, so go back and open uh, on create. Here we'll add uh, one line of coding uh, to set layout uh, as a scrollable. I uh, write uh, tab layout uh, tab layout one dot uh, set tab mode uh, tab layout dot mode 
scrollable. Now we'll make some changes in uh, XML of uh, tab layout. So go to the inject. Uh, write it uh, indicator color as black. Uh, selected color will also be uh, black. Uh, set tab color uh, as gray. Uh, so we'll, I add some coding for the gray color. Hash. 70 70 70 uh, now make its background as transparent or uh, we can use as none or uh, uh, transparent our coding has been completed and we'll uh, run the project to check its uh, final results Uh, the genus has been implemented uh, successfully. In the next video, we will fetch the uh, most popular videos and which will be shown into the uh, recycler view. Uh, thanks for watching the video.